Here we are, mid-March. Rocking away a little bit of cagey cocktail to start off his stand on a brand new property. You got crows. Going now to fix the piles this and go into some house. See what we can get caught in here. You guys stay tuned. In about four and a half minutes for rabbit. I'm gonna let out a just three or four howls, and then we'll start going into probably play some female coyote submissive. Growls and pup distress, see if we can't find something on this property. Oh, damn. Dang, oh, my heart is erasing. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf. I ain't hunting about three weeks. And, uh, Good grief, I, it kind of surprised me on a brand new piece of property. I played a little bit of rabbit, and then I let out a few, just a few howls. And uh, I was just sitting here waiting, and all of a sudden heard come one popping up over the hill, so it kind of startled me there, but yes, and the coyote down. I'll keep that, I'll throw a couple pups out here, maybe something else come. Well, the fresh property definitely worked out. I was actually, expecting to call one up uh, to rabbit here it is middle of march and it's a cold frosty morning and uh it should be fresh eared coyotes but uh i'm starting to doubt my stand set up and let out a few howls and man here come a looks like a female coyote come right out to the uh female yodel house there she is Big old too. She caught the uh, 6.5 PRC. Anyway, I guess I can, uh, I'll go ahead and mark his stand location down in my HuntWise app and uh, <laughs> we'll be making this for making this stand more often, that's for sure. Oh, you, we're gonna get to do this stand breakdown with a coyote booger barking back here. I don't know if y'all be able to, yeah, right there. We got a coyote in his mouth because we're dragging his buddy out of here. But here it is, this is uh, middle of March. I kind of consider this late season uh, for me. You know, we've been hitting it pretty hard since back in the fall and we killed a lot of coyotes. And there's been a lot of coyotes, you know, that we haven't killed that's hurt us calling. So I kind of needed some, I needed some fresh property. Got to uh, doing some investigating on my HuntWise app and actually found this place right here just like three miles down the road from my dad's property. How I never uh, gained access to this was beyond me. But anyway, I got hooked up with the landowner. He granted me, granted me permission and right here I am. Started to stand off with, uh, with some rabbit. I figured, you know, some fresh eared coyotes, I figured they'd come just running right into the rabbit, but nothing showed up. So we straight in the female yodel house, probably let out about five or six howls. And I was probably paused for a minute and a half to two minutes. And just all of a sudden, right over the rise up here, I spotted this female coyote approaching. Just got ready, it slipped right up here, give me about a 90 to 100 yard shot. Another coyote down. Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.